Hi, I'm Dr. Hudson Segris with the Heart South Cardiovascular Group, and I'm going to talk about coronary artery disease and some of our treatment modalities for that. For a long period of time, people with coronary disease underwent procedures using a large artery in the groin called the femoral artery. While this technique was often successful, it carried with it several risks, most notably of bleeding due to the size of the artery and the depth at which it coursed in the leg. As our techniques have improved and the equipment has gotten smaller, most cardiac procedures can be done using a much smaller artery in the wrist, called the radial artery. This carries with it several benefits. Most notably, the risk of bleeding is dramatically decreased as the artery is much smaller and closer to the surface. The other primary benefit that patients notice from radial artery catheterization is that they have the freedom to get up and move around. Gone are the days of four or six hours of lying flat in your bed with a sandbag on your groin. In addition, there are many safety benefits to this. By decreasing the risk of bleeding, we can cut down on complications that prolong hospital stays and oftentimes allow patients to go home the same day of their procedure. So if your cardiologist has told you that you might need a cardiac procedure, make sure you discuss with him or her the possibility of radial artery access for all of the benefits that we've talked about today.